Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple Python web server that listens for webhooks. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, I went over how you can generate a webhook using Python. So this video is going to show you how you can sit and listen to a webhook. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the code up on the screen and we're using Flask for this. So if you don't know what Flask is, it's basically a micro framework for a web server in Python. If you don't already have it installed, go ahead and run a pip install Flask. And if you want to get my code, it's all available on GitHub in the description below. But I'm going to go over this code right now and explain how it works. So the very first line is our imports. We're importing Flask. And if you don't already have Flask installed, go ahead and run a pip install Flask and you'll be ready to go. Next line is setting up the app for Flask. I'm not going to get into the details of this as it's not really important for what we're doing. If you're interested in that, I suggest looking up one of my Flask videos. But moving on, we have the important section of the code, which is right here. And basically, this is the URI that this server is listening on. So we're going to put in the server name slash webhook. And then when it receives the webhook, it's going to run this section of the code, which calls the webhook function. And basically, it just verifies that it is the post method. And if it is, it prints it out. Otherwise, it sends a HTTP 400 message. And you should all be familiar with the HTTP codes. They're industry standard. You can look them up on Wikipedia. To summarize them, 200 is good, 300 is a redirect, 400 is something bad happened, and 500 is something really, really bad happened. And then uh, this bottom part of the code just runs our application. So let's go ahead and run this code. So I'm just going to pull up a terminal here, and I'll go Python server and hit enter and I can see that it is running the server and this is the address so if I wanted to get to my webhook I would go to this address slash webhook now if I pull this up in a Chrome browser and hit enter you'll see URL not found and we can see that it's sending the error 404 and that's because I didn't add the slash webhook so let's add that in there. And now you can see method not allowed. So this is hitting this section of the code right here. And that's because when you go to it through Chrome, you're just sending a get request. What we need to send is a post request. And that's going to hit this part of our function, which is going to print out our request. And it's going to send a success 200 message. So let's go ahead and send a webhook. I'm going to use my webhook script that I created in the last video. So I'm going to pull this open here and I'm going to make one change here and that's going to be to the webhook URL. So I'm going to point this to our Flask server. So let's grab this portion here, throw it in there and then go webhook. Now let's go ahead and run Python webhook. Hit enter, and we can see that it went through there, and it sent my data. So I can change my data to whatever I want here. So I'll just go DevOps journey, and then I'll resend it, and let's pull it up right away. And you can see that we have DevOps journey there. So webhooks are as simple as that. We basically use the request module, which is just a module for sending HTTP requests. We set the request to use the post method and post some JSON data. And in our server, we just sit there listening for post messages. Now you can take this script and you can do basically whatever you want with it. You can do any type of logic that you want with this data, you could take the data, you could store it in a database, you could do a lookup, you could return some information to the requester, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I just wanted to show off webhooks and the simplicity of them. I think if you understand these basics, webhooks won't be as scary when you're working with them in the real world and integrating a bunch of APIs together. It's nothing to be concerned of. It's just HTTP traffic. You have a sender and you have a listener. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment or a like. And if you're interested in learning more Python or DevOps concepts, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thanks again, and I hope to see you all in the next video.